Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Luke, this is Orange is My New Green. Well, as you just saw, we got a lot of rain here. Unbelievable rain. Heavy downpours on and off. Uh, I think we got a total of, I think 80 or 90 millimeters of rain. I think that's the most we've had um, this summer. We've had a couple of 30 millimeters of rain. I'll put it in inches, but this was unbelievable. Um, my uh, uh, sandy beach. <laughs> uh, well, there was so much sand that ran off, flowed through into the ditch. It even flowed all the way halfway in that ditch. Uh, I'll show you a video right here. And uh, it was pff, unbelievable. Uh, that's twice now that we babysit the, uh, <laughs> we babysit the grandkids. And both times when they come, uh, a lot of rain. So uh, yeah, not fun for them because we, we didn't really do much outside. So in this, you'll see me finish a couple of little projects. And also I'll be doing a uh, review of the Kubota uh, heavy duty mechanics gloves, heavy duty. So take a look at that review. Mm, not good. <laughs> Darn it, I gave you a scoop. <laughs> uh, also forgot to mention that um, most of the clips that are in this video um, I wasn't using my uh, microphone because I wasn't intending on recording the, uh, the projects. So um, as I started, I decided just to pull out my phone, do some small videos, and uh, you'll probably hear some wind noise at some, uh, some clips, but uh, no microphone in this portion of the video. So uh, sorry about that, but you know, I got work and I said, ah, might as well pull the phone out and take clips. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for being there. All right, I'm about to begin uh, the uh, fence panel project. Uh, I won't go in too much detail with this project. I'll go show you my lumber in my shed that I picked up this morning. There's my lumber. My two four by fours, a couple of two by fours, one by six six, and the one by five five will be for the uh, project where the gazebo is. So um, let the fun begin for me. Okay, well, my two four by fours are secure, and I even put a, uh, a board just to kind of figure out where I need to put my two by fours across. And I think I'll be putting three two by fours because it's a wider span. It's uh, almost seven feet. So, uh, and now it's starting to rain a bit. So I'm gonna let the rain pass and hopefully I'll be able to continue later today. It's uh, 12.35 right now, August 12th. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, another uh, short video. Uh, I started uh, using the uh, board. I started on the right hand side to the edge of the um, 4x4 and measured all the way to the left hand side and I was a half inch short. So then I decided to find my center of the 81 and uh, 7 16th and find the center of the board which is 5 and 3 8 so half of that and center that and then start going left and right once I have it uh, nice and level. So I guess I'll end up having a quarter inch gap on the right near the 4x4 and on the left near the 4x4. But I will be putting the boards tight together because you know all the rain we've had I'm sure they're well not sure they are wet. So once they start drying up they will shrink a bit so I should end up with just a little gap between the boards, but on each end near the 4x4, unfortunately, I'll have a bigger gap. Maybe something I'll cover up with a decoration or something. We'll see. Another quick update. We're getting there. <laughs> it's coming along nice. Boards are pretty straight, but some of them are really wet can see here how wet they are. 
Also wanted to show you this little piece of aluminum tubing that I cut out about an inch and a quarter so that this bracket which was there for the previous uh, fence panel uh, didn't really line up with this post uh, to get it to a plumb level as close as possible. So by adding this I was able to push the post and like I said make it as close as possible to plumb. Look you can see the gap and I don't like that. <laughs> There's the other side but uh, no looks great. I'm glad I put the uh, middle brace middle 2x4 it's gonna be even uh, more solid sturdy so yeah so that's it for today and uh, I'll finish it off tomorrow if it doesn't rain and I'll cut down the little strip of maybe I don't know maybe three inches so that it has a, uh, a bit of a reveal coming down the 4x4 four four. Well, I finished just in time. All right, well, that's right, it's review time. Uh, decided to make a uh, quick review of uh, work gloves uh, because um, when I bought the tractor back in September 2020, I had ordered these gloves because they didn't have them in stock. And um, I just started using them uh, maybe in June because uh, the other pair that I had of these, the Holmes Workwear uh, gloves that I bought at uh, Costco, I think it was a pack of two or three, I can't remember, uh, they were out. And um, before I continue, let's go through the different types of gloves that you can get. And there's many types of gloves, right? So these are, you know, your really cheap rubbery type gloves that you can use when in damp areas, when you're picking up stuff that are damp, you could probably use this. Uh, these, if you need to have a bit more dexterity with two fingers, uh, you can use these, like picking up uh, s small pieces, like, I don't know, uh, nails, screws, whatever. Uh, these, like I said, are the ones that I use lately in previous pair. These, um, I like them because they're leather, but after working with them for a while, when your hand gets hot, you take your glove off and your hand is the same color as the leather. <laughs> and doesn't smell that great. And then there's the Kubotas. So, uh, pretty disappointed in these and these. Um, like I said, they wear down quickly. I don't know if you can see, but there's already a hole in here. And this is this summer. Uh, side of the thumb. Uh, this one is just barely starting here. And my Kubotas. These are the heavy-duty uh, mechanics uh, gloves, heavy duty. Okay, I started using them this summer. Let me show you. That is not heavy duty. <laughs> so, uh, pretty disappointed in my Kubota gloves that I paid a good amount of money. I think it was like, I won't say the amount because you'll put a comment saying, Are you crazy? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, you know, I bought the tractor, I wanted a Kubota glove and uh, whatever. I bought a coat also and a t-shirt and, you know, <laughs> a no parking sign. Yeah, you know. So, um, Kubota, uh, I sh you know, you should be ashamed selling these as heavy duty uh, work gloves. Um, they're crap. They're garbage. Um, if you use them uh, like you're supposed to use them, which I did a lot of work, as you uh, can see in my previous videos, 
I moved a lot of rocks. I picked up a lot of stuff, shovels, picks, pry bars, uh, you name it, uh, branches, chainsaw. Uh, I've been using them and uh, they didn't last. So uh, Kubota, if you're watching, hey, send me another pair and I'll test those out and I'll make a review. <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, these are the types of gloves that I've been using here, uh, doing all of my stuff around the house. Uh, this is mostly when I was doing some uh, work outside on the deck and everything, on the gazebo. Shoveling, shoveling, and this one I've been picking up some damp stuff, uh, cleaning the gutters at the time. Uh, but yeah, not impressed. Unfortunately, Kubota, I cannot recommend your gloves to anybody. Don't go spend money on these gloves. They are not worth it. So uh, this is my review of uh, gloves, work gloves. Which one's my number one? I don't have one. Because <laughs> this is the style I like, but they don't last. Uh, I even had John Deere gloves at one point. They didn't last. So you pay some decent money for work gloves. You hope that they will do the job and last for at least more than a year, not two months. So, review of my work gloves. No, no. All right, well, that's it. Let's go back to the video. Okay, I uh, did more, uh, not changes, but more work on the fence. I filled in the gaps. Uh, with a different way of what I mentioned yesterday. And those little uh, end caps are just temporary till we get our uh, post lights, solar post lights, post caps, whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I finished off also to kind of hide the, uh, the downspout from the gutter. And I'll go show you on the other side what I did. So I used some, uh, I repurposed some uh, spindles that I had for my old deck that I still had inside the shed. So I cut them to length. I just used a two inch brad nail. So that kind of completes the crack, hides it. I didn't do the top portion because I don't think it's required. We'll have the post light there anyways. And I uh, added a bit of more crushed stone and I put down those patio stones around it. They won't be in the way. So, I think it turned out nice. I can't wait to get the uh, post caps, the lights. We're going to get those uh, next week, I think. So the lights came in, but they got to charge for at least, they say, three to five days before turning them on. And I don't know if the this one uh, because it's close to the uh, the other light if it's going to turn on so it's something we'll have to check we'll see uh, I also closed off um, that little opening we had I had that opening since I built the deck just never got to it you know <laughs> but now that's done so uh that's another access to underneath the deck. All right, well, that's going to be the next project. I want to close this off. I've pulled out a bunch of old two by fours, even a two by three that I had underneath the deck. So I put it close by so I can use to kind of frame up this area. And uh, I'll close off the portion 
all the way to this corner. After that, that corner, that'll be for next, I mean, that side will be for next, uh, next year. Yep, yeah, just another little project. Why not? Done. <laughs> another little project. Why not? Spending time outside. It's good for you. Staying busy. Good for you. On to the next. On to the next. Well, had fun uh, with these little projects. Uh, the fence panel turned out great. And good news, our uh, little uh, lights that we put at the end of the 4x4 will be coming in uh, earlier than expected. They'll be coming in tomorrow, uh, August 16th, instead of next week, the week of the 21st. So yeah, it turned out really nice. And uh, I showed you a piece of what I'll be working on uh, later. Not sure when I'll start that project. Um, where the gazebo, gazebo is, closing off that section. And uh, the little retaining wall, that it, well, retaining wall, little steps that I added on the side of the steps. And I have an idea to use the remaining blocks that I have. I have, uh, I'd say maybe one skid with two or three rows. No, more than that. Two skids with two or three rows of blocks left. And I uh, have an idea, but I don't know if that's going to be feasible or not. Uh, might have to... Anyways, we'll see if that'll be a project for this year. <laughs> so, um, and you saw my review of the uh, Kubota Heavy Duty uh, work gloves. Meh, not good. Not recommended. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. And why not share with your friends? And I guess we'll catch you on the next one. So that might be in a few weeks, uh, depending. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on here, and uh, we'll see. So uh, take care, stay safe, and bye for now, everybody. Thanks for being there.